Yes, hi guys, welcome back again. By the way, it's Max uh, from the next creation, giving you all the updates and giving this important information. And today I want to talk about, uh, actually, I'll definitely, I would like to talk about what we call the local visa transfers. Someone asked me about what you call the local visa transfers. What are the requirements and what you definitely need to know as a person when it comes to the local hire. Remember, what is happening right now, the market is not very good, which some of you in Qatar will agree with me. I'll definitely let you know you'll agree with me the market here in Qatar is not very good uh, reason uh, for those reasons that people will know the big job just cast we have very many companies that have recruited or especially what you call the supply companies they recruited most of our friends or most of our brothers here but they do not have work reason being that most of these companies we are small companies that got small capital they recruited but they do not have contracts so they end up bringing you here he cannot get for you the id and after he tells you look for job which becomes a little bit very scary for some of us for some of brothers by the way if it's your first time to come across this channel don't forget to hesitate support me by subscribing you know we are looking at the road to ten thousand. it will just be your fault your 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 effort give me a like give me a subscribe i'll be very grateful yes when you talk about local visa transfers yes some companies now are doing what you call the local hire they are looking at local hiring, which is a much cheaper. Local hiring, you are getting from one house to another. It is better than you getting from an overseas. So definitely I want you to understand that recruiting now a person, let's say for example, look at people from Uganda. Uganda is like football from Uganda. I'll, you agree with me. Someone cannot recruit from Uganda to Qatar. Most companies don't like that one anymore now for the time being. Reason being that you are very expensive. Look at, he has to take care of your ticket, he has to take care of your visa course, you have to come into the country, the time that will be spent. So they are trying to run away from all those what call those costs. So what people are doing, they are hiring locally. I recruit from here, you come your own visa, I recruit you, I give you a job, I don't give you housing, I don't give you transportation, I only give you salary. You come and work in my company or you do my work for 8 hours or 10 hours depending on what we agreed or what we agreed upon. You go away, I don't give anything. So people, uh, this, some of these companies here are finding it a little bit cheaper in that kind of situation to work out and to complete some of the tasks and even complete out some of the projects that they have at their hand. So what does it mean? That most of the people in the country here will be benefited or oh, those that are living in the country and they have the opportunity, they will benefit uh, they, will benefit, they will benefit at one way or the other and get hired. So people outside will be left pending. But however, you find the same situation that the agents outside, they may want to implement you or they, 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 they may want to deceive you that there are available opportunities, which are not the case. So that's what normally happens. So look at the situation. Let us look at what you call the local, uh, what you call the local, local transfer uh, for someone who has been in the company for one year. Yes. You have the right to resign and move to another company in case you have a better opportunity. What I normally keep on telling people, if you want to move from one company A to company B, make sure that company B has better opportunity or has better remunerations or better benefits than company A. I want you to understand that one clearly. Why some of us will apply to the Ministry of Labor and our approval has been denied? It's because you are going to a much bad company compared to where you are coming from. So the government, the Ministry will not approve you. First of all, they will put a lot of in question and say, why you want to change? Unless you've attached to your application sufficient evidence that I want to change from this company because they don't pay, me, say they don't pay my salary. I'm going to another company that is promised me or that a company that has been doing well will be paying workers and it will pay my salary in time. Unless you have sufficient evidence. But most of the time you have to be applying from a company which has been low in paying you a low salary to a company that has been paying you a bigger salary. Because they think, they normally look at what you call personal development as one of the effects or one of the reasons why you are changing from one company to another. Even if it me. Yes, something that definitely we need to know what are the local rules procedure for you to follow. Yes, after completing a car, uh, after completing one year in the company, you can resign. One local rules that you're supposed to follow is submitting what you call um, your resignation or sub, sub, submit your resignation. 
You submit your resignation. It can be in writing, it can be informal, it can be informal, it can be through a message. But on those approved company websites, you're only supposed to, not on person. You not send a resignation letter to your supervisor on a person. Your supervisor will not submit it. Why would he? Find a few of them that will say, okay, I'll print and submit. Submit an email. Follow what you call the notice period. That is also very important. That serve the notice period. If the notice period is one month, serve that notice period with that company. Work well with that company. Don't create drama with that company. That company will let you go and move in applicably. So after serving a notice period and move out the company, uh, you will have what you call a grace period of 30 days either to exit the country. So normally they give us 30 days to prepare ourselves. You have pending, you have people who need to get paid, you're not paid out. You have that grace period of 30 days. So locally, if you have that 30, 30 days period for you to be in the country, if you can get another person who can give you an offer letter, well and good. Get that offer letter, get that computer card, apply to the Ministry of Labor for change of sponsorship. Without even the first exiting the country. Most of you that did not know that. So after applying, after getting a new sponsor and applying, the government or the ministry, if you are well and proof in one week on seven working days, they will send you what you call an EC number. And once you send you an EC number, even if your sponsor buys you a ticket, you, even if you don't exit, even if your former company buys you a ticket to exit, once you get an EC number from the Ministry of Labor, it's enough for you. You've applied for change. You are waiting for your approval. Or you are waiting for approval coming from what you call the Ministry of Labor, which means that you are in this system even if you don't exit. That is a good advantage that when you apply to the ministry, and some of you do not know or you do not know that kind of trick that happens. So once you get that one, even the ministry, you will get approved or denied. But most of the times, if you've gotten a very bigger opportunity that is good and you've served whatever you pass through the right channel, the ministry will approve you. Once the ministry approves you, once the ministry approves you, then probably you can start up with the new employment, then the new employer will initiate and do the other procedures for you to stay in the country. But remember, it is much cheaper for companies to recruit lower locally than hiring internationally or hiring from outside. Because for the change of the ID, it will be very easy, just change of details. There is nothing much to change. And if you are hired locally, then there are no medicals. You will not go for medicals unless you've had some other previous defects of what you call medical history. But still, if you have medical history, which is not proof enough for you to stay in the country, the ministry will not approve you. Because most of those things, we check the medical, medical history, the ministry checks them. They are all data, data detailed on your QID. All that data is checked and thoroughly. Chris lies. That's why you have to wait for a given period of time. It's all captured in the system, the government systems. So what will happen? They'll approve you. And once they approve, the new sponsor will try to initiate up a new process, the new procedure to get your ID, a new contract, sign up, is uh, submitted to the Ministry of Well uh, Labor website, and the rest of things will work out. And definitely, you will have to start up a new job. So those are the only procedures, the local rules that you need to follow. Resign. Follow the resignation procedure. Serve the notice period. Yes, there's another opportunity. Know your contract rules that you sign with your sponsor. Then move on. And that is all. Thank you so much for someone who asked that question. I think I've shared with you a small hint of what you should know. If you need more than that, don't hesitate. Get into my, 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 my inbox or get into the comment section. Let me know. I'll give you all the more highlights. Free of charge without even a single charge. For anything that you feel that you would want to know more. Thank you so much. Remember, it's next always giving you all the updates and giving this important information. By the way, if it's your first time to come across the channel, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to support and hit the subscribe button.